Okay, so we actually were going on a new adventure today to figure out another little um, area there is to fish off of the, what was it, the Nolan River? Which river? Brass. The Brat, so the, no, the one we were at before. Brass? It was the Brass, okay, just kidding. So we were gonna go fish off of the Brass River in a new area, but they had a little park that had a lot of uh, reviews and stuff for fishing and it was supposed to be really solid. Unfortunately, it was flooded out so we didn't get to fish that one. We did go ahead and end up over at the Steel Creek. Steel Creek. Um, we tried that for a few minutes and maybe there's a time of year where that's good fishing. But today, it's um, we're in March now, beginning of March. And there was like zero sign of life, no bait fish, no real fish. Uh, it's kind of shallow. It is a sandier area, which is something we were kind of scouting for because a lot of times the striper kind of populate over there and they kind of hang out in that kind of area. But we literally had zero sign of life, so we're headed over to the Brazos right now um, behind the dam. So that's the plan. Hopefully we're gonna link up with some kind of bass today. Um, we're gonna be fishing one pole with cats um, and then possibly two. And then we're gonna be uh, doing our normal lures that we usually fish for a large mouthed striper. So uh, that's where we're headed right now. So we got a bait pole. I decided on my bait pole I wanted some chicken liver for cats. He wanted to try and have a carp fight, so he's got corn on his pole. And we are fishing with our favorite lure, which is the GT360. What's happened is a little weird. We have one uh, hooked up with uh, chicken liver. The other pole had corn. And you're probably just as surprised as we are at the fact that this kitty just hit some corn. <laughs> Whatever floats his boat, the reality is we caught a fish, so we're gonna call it a win. He didn't put up too much of a fight because he was pretty close, <laughs> but it was fun, and we have a fish, so it's a good day. He's All a right. decent cat. He's a decent cat. He's a take home, so we'll call it a good. It's good. It's a good moment. What up? Nice, babe. Thanks. Pretty boy. First fish of the day. Good job, Chief. <laughs> well, apparently today is just a day of indecision for us. <laughs> so we're actually headed over to, what is it called again? Soldier's Bluff. We're going to go to Soldier's Bluff right now. Um, although we did get a kitty here, it's been a little slow for larger fish. So we figured, hey, let's go ahead and head to the deep while well, we got another hour and a half left to fish in. Might as well get moving because it's just right across the street. So that's where we're going. This is a good sign. Oh yeah, it's a sexy bitch. Yeah. Wait, are you filming? Yeah. You said sexy Beep. fish. Sexy fish. Oh. <laughs> yep. It's a good <laughs> fish. We're going to keep him in the ice box. Yup. So we'll try and get it. I'm hopefully another one before the day ends. I would just like to make a comment that I'm down on the beach, so this is not the best angle of Jimmy. Jimmy's a sexy horse. This is just not a good angle. Oh my angle. gosh. <laughs> I got like double chin galore going on. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get him on the trigger. Okay. Let's go. Right. So, one thing that I really love about Chelsea, and it makes me a very lucky man, is her persistence with fishing. <laughs> I'm like ready to call it a day and go because it hasn't been the best of luck and then yeah she got this striper. So it's a good day. Okay, here's where we're at. I'm gonna try to get this filmed as best as possible. Let's go for it. It's dark. We got back to pull in the bait poles. And oops. And this one was the corn pole. And Jimmy's got a fish on right now. So far today we got two striper um, and a catfish so we're about to find out with you guys what the heck this thing is and I apologize my, it's so dark out yeah. my striper out. wasn't a keeper so we had to... yeah the first striper was uh, 20 inches the second one was 15 so, it is, it 
Cheaper in Texas, yes, yeah, probably a cart, but we're not really sure. If we're lucky, it's a cat, <laughs> but I doubt it. Look at that. It's a big old cart. Yeah, he's decent. Not real big, but he's decent. Alrighty. He's like, I'm gonna go with right. no on that one. Just pull him up. Can you pick him up? Huh? I said he's definitely not worn out. <laughs> I wonder how long he's been on for because we've been casting. We had a couple, we had a lot of striper hits, like smaller striper and a couple bigger striper hits towards the end of here. So we kind of abandoned our bait poles that hadn't done much. So Lord knows how long this fish has been here. All right, we're going to bring him in. He's really big. All right, Jimmy, show us what you caught. This is Jimmy's fish second of the day. The first one was that. Uh, 15 inch striper, and now we have a pretty chunky carp. Yeah, he's pretty so much thick. Of. Well, Carpy, you were not part of the day's plan. We were trying to leave, and here you are being all chunky, mean to get fish. So, he's a good sized fish. <laughs> so, here's our little Carpy friend about to go back in the water. See you later, big guy. <laughs> well, so we just finished up the day. Um, I think at the end of the day, the reality is every day is not going to be the best fishing day of your life. Coming down from Port Aransas has been a little difficult because now we're like lake fishing again. But I have um, a lot of anticipation that we're going to have a lot of really good striper days coming up soon. Now I've kind of felt out the different areas. Um, I'm guessing we're probably either gonna fish the state park or this same area next time, the last place that we visited. So that was the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.